Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of our VGC 2020 Battle Series. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's episode we're going to be featuring a team based all around G Max Pikachu. With the recent event that we had in the wild area where we could catch G Max Pikachu finally in Sword and Shield, it now has access to that hidden ability Lightning Rod, which makes it a lot more viable within this VGC 2020 format. So what better time than to put a team together based around this Pokemon and have a bit of fun with it. So as always, there will be a rental team for this specific squad at the end of the episode. So if you want to try that out, stick around to the end and you can grab that one and try it out. And if you do try it out, do let me know what your thoughts are around this team. It would be great to hear. And if you've been playing around with GMAX Pikachu of your own, I'd love to hear some of your builds that you've been playing around with. So we've got today the, the Pikachu with the, the light ball, which was a pain to get. Honestly, it took me ages to get the light ball, but we've got that. It doubles Pikachu's special attack and attack. So We'll probably more going special attack with this Pikachu here. We've got the extra speed control support from the Whimsicott there. Then Dracovish, the Diggersby, Gyarados, and the Togekiss making up the rest of this squad. So, I'm going to be a lot of fun. We'll click into it now, and hopefully it doesn't take us too long to find our first opponent of the episode. So, I've been playing uh, a few games off camera with this team just to try it out, and it is a lot of fun. It's difficult to get to work. Uh, and you can't always go the Pikachu mode, but I do try and force it a little bit and I probably will for this episode because it's all about the Pikachu, isn't it? We've got a first opponent of the episode anyway, and they are playing a team of Toxicity, the Whimsicott, Dragapult, Togekiss, Farfetch'd, Surfetched, Farfetch'd, Surfetched, and the Dusclop. So... What are we looking at? Speed control from the Whimsicott. Uh, toxicity is going to be a bit of a pain, something that we can't uh, paralyze because of its electric typing. Uh, but everything else kind of doesn't want to be paralyzed in this team. Um, and even if they do, they've got the Dusclop. So I guess that makes it a little bit more tricky to get around. Uh, Diggers be looking really, really good here. Um, honestly, if we can get like some speed control support with it, it's going to do a lot of work. I think the issue is the, um, the opposing speed control from... Uh, the, the Wimmy on the opposite side of the field. Um, hmm. Okay. Now, do we go speed control with Wimmy, or do we go with Togekiss? Redirection, Diggers B, just clear the way a little bit. Um, I think Wimmy's nice, because the, if they do lead Dusclops, we have got Taunt there, so that could be a nice option there. I don't know if I want to lead Pika. Do I want to lead Pika? Pika could be a good lead. It could be a good lead. But I feel like... Yeah, we'll go Pika. Good Diggers B. And uh, we will bring Togekiss to this one. And we'll not time out. We'll try and not time out. Okay? So, we'll see how we get on in this one. Hopefully, you can get the big W. That's what we want. That's what we want with the Pika. And I want to get, like, I don't want to go through this whole episode where I wasn't bringing the Pikachu. But at the same time, I do want to show some value to this content where we can actually play the team. Where we're not just forcing Pikachu and uh, Wimmy every game as a lead here. Um, but, turns out, it's not too bad an option here. Um, so, you can probably get the Paralysis on both Pokemon right now. Uh, we can Tailwind, match their Tailwind, go... Do we just do it? Do we just do it? It feels like it's too easy here and it, we shouldn't be doing this. But, like, let's just let's just go for it. Yeah. GMAX Vault Christ. Watch it be weakness policy token case. No, I've jinxed myself. I'm just, like, it's not going to be. We've got the RNG gods on our side, as we always do. So let's, let's hope the RNG god shine down kindly on us in this battle. Especially with our shiny GMAX Pikachu. In this Pikachu, I actually I ran into a random raid um, online like last week, and it was just a shiny. I was like, oh my god, because I had such a difficult time getting my own with Lightning Rod, so... <gasps> no way! That is so risky. They just taunted our Whimsicott. I can't believe they just actually did that. Like, really? Because, like, if they lose the speed tie there, it's so risky. Um, I can, like... They blocked that Tailwind, great, but like, like, 50% of the time that isn't going to work. Um, I mean, it's worked out here great, but we do take down Togekiss, so we got a new Togekiss counter right here, <laughs> which is great. So we, we actually have the Dragapult coming in now. Um, hmm. 
And we've got no option to protect on Pikachu, which is a little bit of a shame. Uh, we could potentially just double into Dragapult here, to be honest, get some nice damage onto it. There's also a chance that it is weakness policy Dragapult as well. Like, we should probably take a look at my opponent's team a minute to see if there's any... Mm, I mean, the Dusclops could proc it there. I don't know if they're gonna, though, are they? Let's go Moonblast and... I mean, yeah, if we can get the Paralysis onto the Dragapult, that's huge for us. I don't know if we're going to be able to. We're going to see it max, I think. Cutscene max. So there we go. I feel like Dragapult probably is able to knock out Pikachu. Um, like, that's one big drawback with G-Max Pikachu is. And you can bulk it out defensively, but you're going to lose speed or power, really. Oh, that's not what we want to be seeing. Not the fake tears. This is a spe special Dragapult, is it? Max Wormwind coming out. Yeah, okay. This is what I mean. Like, it's just not the bulkiest of Pokemon at all. Which is a little bit of a shame. Um, But it's not the end of the world right now. <laughs> Poor Pikachu. Do you get the Moonblast? into the Dragapult, so probably take it down the next turn, which is which is ideal. Um, we can bring in Togekiss now. Uh, we do have the... The thing is, with Togekiss, we're probably going to... Um, probably going to lose it to uh, Big Tears and uh, Max Phantasm, I would imagine. Although... Togekiss is like, uh, we might be able to take that combination, you know? Maybe. Maybe. But we're just going to double up into the Dragapult again. I'm not really too worried about the Whimsicott. Like, the thing is that the Paralysis, this would be a great time for it to be fully paralyzed. Like, RNG gods, if you're there, listen. Okay, well, the Tailwind, I don't mind. Like, honestly. Uh, I prefer that to... Um... Wow, Max Lightning coming out. I prefer that to losing Togekiss. Like, at least this way, we get to kind of hang on. Our taunt should wear off this turn, so it means we get the Tailwind up the next turn, and then we've got Diggersby in the back. And, uh, oh, we uh, we do have um, access to our weakness policy now as well, which is pretty nice. So there's Moonblast. This should take down the Dragapult, and the, um, the Dazzling Gleam's going to do a nice chunk of damage to this Whimsicott as well. And then my opponent's only got one Pokemon left. And because they are taunted, um, they are paralyzed now, their taunt is going to go um, after our Tailwind, which is ideal. So, it will be interesting to see what their last Pokemon is. Okay, it's Toxicity, which is perfect for good old Diggs to come in and do some work. So we'll Tailwind and... Um, yeah, we'll go for a, a Dazzling Gleam. Togekiss might outspeed the Toxicity. It depends how it's been trained i'm not gonna count like count on us outspeeding it though but you never know fully paral paralyzed whimsicott would be great no 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 fully paral like paralysis like where's pikachu's power there's overdrive yet yeah, we'll take down our togepiss do a nice bit of chip damage to our um Wimmy. but it's so fine now it is super fine because we get diggers being I don't feel like the Toxus he's really got a way <laughs> to, to do anything to us. And Diggs with his huge powers just gonna be able to earthquake and take take everything down. So we will Moonblast the opposing Whimsicott and we'll go for that earthquake. Um I've kind of opted for Earthquake on Diggersby here because we do have the Gyarados and we do have the um the Togekiss in the team, so we've got really quite nice synergy between at least two Pokemon that we can pair next to Diggersby that we can earthquake with quite freely and you know whimsicott it's kind of another pokemon that doesn't care too much about earthquakes it's still going to take you know decent damage from it but it's not getting ko'd from it it's not putting us in super detrimental positions so i felt like the earthquake was quite a nice option on diggersby and it gets around like redirection follow me support from togekiss excadrill we get the folly paralysis yes come on there we go. That's what we wanted to see. Okay, so no fake tears coming out this turn from the Wimmy. And um, Diggersby outspeeding and going to get this Earthquake off. 
pick up the knockout and pick up the W for us. Yes, come on. <laughs> so Pikachu did do some work. Didn't do all of the work. I feel like Wimmy probably did more of the work than anything else. Um, but Pika, Pika definitely picked up the knockout on that toggle kiss at the start of the game. So that was that was pretty big for us. Um, so we can't take all the credit away from Pika. And we got it gone. So that was good. And you know what, right? Thinking about it. Toggle kiss is probably one of the most annoying Pokemon to face in this format, right? And we just killed it. Super easy with Pikachu. And Pikachu's just as like, why is everyone so worried about Togekiss? I'll just get rid of it. Easy, watch, watch. And then boom, gone, gone. So Pika is good for that. <laughs> if nothing else. Um, it'd probably be good to have something like screen support. I think like screen support with Pikachu would probably be quite good. Ah, okay, we got our next opponent. Uh, playing team of Hatterene, uh, the Tokol, Gigalith, Oranguru, um, the Octopus, which I can't remember for the life of me right now, and the Lipod. What is it called? Octillery. Octillery, there we go. Um, super hard Trick Room team. You've got Trick Room users there with the Oranguru and um, the, the Hatterene. Um, you've got the Copycat as well with the Lipod that can be a thing. So... <sighs> I mean, we could paralyze stuff for sure, but is it really going to be that helpful right now? Um, <laughs> not so much. Uh, without like a steel type in the team, it makes it pretty difficult to um, to deal with something like Hatterene. Um I mean, yeah, we've got I we do have Taunt with Whimsicott, but I mean, it's not really doing anything. Magic Bounce makes that very difficult. Let's go Pika up top. Um, We want to go maybe Diggersby. Diggersby could be quite good here. Um, although, not ideal. We could go Togekiss, though. Probably not the, the greatest idea, either. Um, let's go Diggersby, Togekiss. And the fit. Ah, oh, we're not going to get it. We're not going to get it. Ah, oh, come on. We're going Whimsicott, Pikachu. I'm just... just Dawdling far too much. Yeah. Hatterene is pretty difficult for this team to deal with. Because we're kind of relying on the taunt. Mainly to shut down trick room options. Where we can't really go for that here. And um... <laughs> yeah, we can't taunt the Lipod. We can't taunt the Hatterene. We can fake things out, but... It's not really helping us too much. Um, could G Max Ball crash for sure? I mean, we could double into Lipod. We could totally double into Lipod. Get rid of it. Probably gonna fake out though. That's the that's the issue. Like, does it fake out or does it just go copycat? I think it just goes copycat, and the hat goes. G Max, Max God. I'm hoping that's what happens. If that's what happens, then it makes it a bit easier for us. If we just say fake out Trick Room, that's when it gets a little bit more difficult for us. I mean, we do paralyze both targets. So there is every chance that we could get both Pokemon fully paralyzed this turn. So, you know. Okay, we're going to see the Max. great if it was Lipod. Never gonna be though, is it? <laughs> never. Never. Alright. Well, hat. Let's see that max max guard copycat combo. Let's see it. Come on. Fake out. No! It's just gonna it's good gonna straight up attack us. This is not ideal. Wow. That did quite a lot. Like I'm always quite surprised by how strong Pikachu is, especially with the light ball. Okay, come on, fully paralyzed. Ugh, never, come on, just this one time. Man, we don't even take that. <laughs> Pikachu is so weak, <laughs> so weak. No trick room, all right, well, it's not the end of the world, just yet. 
Um, it's light bulb. Okay, well, the fish is not a bad Pokemon to bring in right now. Fish is not a bad Pokemon to bring in. Just to get damage onto the hat, honestly. Um, let's go for it. And let's just try and get rid of the Lipod. Come on. Come on. We'll probably see Torkoal maybe hit the field now and place the Lipod. Definitely could be an option if you got it in the back. That's something I would be thinking about. And then just G-Max Smite again into the fish. And that gets rid of it first. This could be quite a short one. Yes! <laughs> we get the fully paralyzed twice! <laughs> Come on! Break through that confusion, Wimmy! Ah, oh, Wimmy! The dream was nearly real. We get the fish's rend off. Okay, well, it's not as much as I kind of expected it to do. Um... But, we could maybe... Hmm, do we protect here? I don't know if we do. Is a Moonblast going to be enough with a Fisher's Rend to get it? Potentially. Potentially. I don't think it is, actually. I don't really don't think it is. Like, we could protect, but the problem is protecting here. Uh, we're going to get... We're going to get confused anyway, which is not ideal. Um... Probably better off just doubling up into hat. Honestly. I think that's the best way for us to do it. You got it twice. Come on. We snap out of confusion. Oh, I think we might get it, you know. With a high roll, I think we get the hat. Yes, we get it. Come on. <laughs> yes, this is awesome. Okay, Pika putting in all of the work here. Pika's like... I'll show you some work. We'll get this done. Right, well. We still got Diggersby in the back. Uh, we're not confused anymore. We got rid of the biggest threat. Hat, so that's perfect. Octillery going to hit the field now. <sighs> What's Octillery going to do? Like, what are you going to do, Octillery? It's just a pure water type, isn't it? Um, it's probably good to get rid of... Lipod while we can. So we'll get rid of that. I have no idea what Octillery does. I know it has Moody, but it's about it. We'll keep we'll keep the fish around for a little bit longer. Big tears. Uh, okay, so I'm probably going to double into that slot there. We'll get the Moonblast into the Life Hard. And we'll see what this Octo boost is going to do. Come on. Fire Blast. <laughs> no way. <laughs> We are so jammy. We are like the jam. I feel bad for my opponent. Do I? Do I though? I feel bad for my opponent. Not really. No. <laughs> no, I'm just taking it. The RNG gods have said we, we've got this. So this is fine. Um, Gigalith coming in onto the field now. Now, what do I worry about more? Uh, the artillery for sure. Um, I think we go double into that thing. Um... Yeah, just because Diggersby can then come in. Diggersby will be able to deal with Gigalith. Yeah, okay, we see the Protect there. Vicious Wren still should do some good damage to this thing. And if they go Fire Blast again, then that is super fun. Come on, Vicious Wren, pick up the knockout from there. The fish is broken. The fish is just broken. Okay, well, we get it. And then, yeah, we don't even need the Diggersby. So this is this has been this has been good. This is like a super turnaround because I didn't expect us to win this one. I thought this one's going to be super tough. But I mean, really, when we look at it, we've had like all the luck in the world, haven't we? We've had all the luck. So <laughs> I feel bad for my opponent. But we've had two good games today with the Pika squad, and we've got two wins. So that's all that matters, my friends. Um, and Pika's put in a lot of work. It's Got knocked out very quickly in both games. But I think that's how Pika works. You kind of, maybe realistically, without the Sash. Like, Sash is probably a really good item on it, to be honest. Because it then gives you the ability to probably get to uh, G-Max Volcrashers off. Uh, which you kind of want to paralyze the whole team if you can. Um, 
But you, you can see we're not taking any big attacks at all, which is the one drawback of it. But I still think it's a really cool Pokemon. It's, it's a nice Pokemon to have a, a bit of fun with. So, like I said at the start of the episode, we're going to do the rental team here for this, this team. If you do try it out, definitely let me know. And I hope you have a bit of fun. It's not a super serious team. It's not going to be winning you any any tournaments or doing like you're gonna have good streaks on the ladder with it but it's just a team to have a bit of fun with uh, and i think that's the big thing with pikachu uh, manage teams to share um okay what are we gonna get rid of no i don't like getting rid of teams i really don't um what about what are our options i'm not get. let's get rid of this one because this one yeah, we'll, we'll free up some space there because the the Snorlax and stuff like that, the hat, it's it's recent, but it's it's kind of it's I think one of the teams you could get rid of here, and uh, then we can pull in this one, make this public, and what I'm gonna have to do is get myself out of the picture here for a minute because what I noticed in my last episode video was that I uh, I kind of blocked the view of the whole um, the rental code. I might not now because. Um, I have, oh no, so it's alright, if I just move my arm slightly a bit over here, and then there you go my friends, there is the team, so if you do try it out, have a lot of fun with it, it is a really fun team to play around with, hope you've enjoyed today's episode, as always if you have, drop a like on the video, do subscribe to the channel if you're new here for more of this content, more Pokemon news, guides, updates, all that sort of thing, cover everything Pokemon, and uh, we just have a lot of fun while doing it, so it'd be great to have you join in, and uh, we'll wrap things up there, we'll be back with another episode very soon my friends take care of yourselves if you're playing in the players cup this weekend as well the i see it is the um qualifiers this weekend good luck let me know how you get on and we'll uh i look forward to hearing about all of your battles and success stories next week so until then my friends take care of yourselves and bye bye